Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. I love pinwheels. I know that might sound a little crazy, but just stick with me. They are to me the perfect party food. They're bite size, you just pop them in your mouth. They're not really messy. You can use whatever you've got on hand. You can make an assortment of pinwheels to cover, you know, kind of all your basics, everything that everybody likes. You don't have to turn on the stove, which here in the South during the spring and the summertime, if we can avoid turning on the stove, whew, good Lord, with the humidity, we try to avoid it. They're great for picnics, bridal showers, uh, baby showers, graduations, barbecues, family reunions. I mean, it's endless. I, again, pinwheels are just the perfect party food. But aside from that, make them for your family for game night. You can make them for yourself for lunch. They make a great quick and easy dinner and also add them to a charcuterie board the possibilities are endless so it might sound a little bit weird but I wanted to do a dedicated video because again I just love pinwheels so I'm going to be sharing four super easy and delicious ones with you today let's get into these recipes First up, I'm making ham and turkey club pinwheels. Quick note, I'll have the recipes from today's video linked in the description box below, but make these your own. Use, again, whatever you've got on hand or whatever you and your family or your guests like. So for these pinwheels, I have some of these Mission Spinach wraps. I've got some sliced Colby Jack cheese, some ham and turkey, crumbled bacon, lettuce, some cream cheese, and dry ranch dressing mix, as well as a Roma tomato. First up to my bowl, I'm going to add in my softened cream cheese. Quick tip, if you forget to set your cream cheese out, just place it into the microwave set on defrost for about 10 seconds, it'll soften right up. I'm going to add in some of the dry ranch dressing mix and mix that until it's well combined and set that to the side. Next, I'm going to take my tortilla. I like to do this on a cutting board. You can do it on the counter, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to spread out that cream cheese mixture. As Jeff Morrow says, crust to crust is a must, so try to get as much of that tortilla as you can. I'm going to sprinkle some crumbled bacon over that cheese mixture. And if you don't want to use crumbled bacon or you don't have it on hand, you could just use cooked bacon. Next, I'm adding my slices of Colby Jack cheese along with my ham. And then I went to use that turkey, but it was bad. Luckily, I had some salami on hand though. So see, like I said, just switch it up. Use whatever you've got on hand. So I'm gonna add the salami. Next, I'm going to add some of the lettuce and thinly sliced tomato. And then I'm going to roll this up pretty tightly. Just be mindful of everything. You don't wanna overfill this or it's impossible to roll up. So I'm rolling it again, keeping it pretty tight. And then once I've got them all rolled, I'm going to place them in some plastic wrap and then place them into the refrigerator for just about 30 minutes. You're just allowing that cream cheese to harden up a little bit. So after about 30 minutes, we're going to remove them from the refrigerator, remove that plastic wrap, and then cut them into little pinwheels. Now I like to do this using a serrated knife, and then you can arrange these on a platter, and that's it. Like I said, super easy, and these little suckers were delicious. So, so good. Next up, I made Italian sandwich pinwheels. My husband absolutely loved these. He raved about them. They were his favorite. I thought they would be because I know he loves Italian sandwiches. All right, here's what I'm going to use. I've got some Roma tomato, lettuce, banana pepper rings, roasted red pepper strips, Italian seasoning, ham, provolone cheese, some cream cheese, and then we've also got, um, you'll need some kind of salami or Italian meats. I have just a little bit of this assortment of charcuterie meats from a charcuterie board that we did, and then you'll need tortillas. Now, I really do prefer using burrito size tortillas for pinwheels. I didn't have any more on hand though, so I'm just using these like taco size. Just like with the ham and turkey club pinwheels, I'm gonna start out by making the cream cheese mixture. To this bowl, I'm adding in my softened cream cheese. I'm going to add in some Italian seasoning and stir that until it's combined really well. I'm going to set that to the side and chop up my red pepper strips and banana pepper rings. Once I've got those chopped up, I'm going to add them to the cream cheese, stir that until it's combined really well, and then set that to the side. I'm going to lay down one of my tortillas, and again, I would suggest using burrito size. I'm gonna add my cream cheese mixture, spread that out over the tortilla. 
I'm going to add my meat, so I'm adding some of the salami, the ham, and I decided to add some pepperoni as well. And then I'm just gonna add my other toppings, so the cheese, the lettuce, and tomatoes. Now, I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but I am way overloading this tortilla. <laughs> I had uh, the C word this day and had the C word brain. I don't know what I was thinking. This was way overstuffed. As you can see, I could not even wrap it up. So I had to remove some of the toppings and then I was able to roll it up successfully. So like I said with the club pinwheels, just be mindful of how much you're adding. You really don't need, you know, as, as many toppings as what you think you do. So just like with the other pinwheels, and once we get them rolled up, we're going to place them in some plastic wrap, cover them and place them into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And then we'll slice them up and put them on a serving tray. And like I said, these were delicious. So good. I've mentioned before on my channel that I absolutely love the veggie crescent roll pizza. It is so good. I cannot make it very often because I love it so much. I'll sit and eat the whole flipping thing by myself. So when I saw these veggie pizza pinwheels on Pinterest, I was like, I have to make these. They were delicious, almost as good as the veggie crescent roll pizza. So yummy. All right, let me show you what I use to make these. I'm going to use what I personally prefer on my veggie crescent pizza. Use whatever veggies you like or what you've got on hand. So we, of course, need some tortillas. I'm using some shredded cheddar cheese, sour cream, cucumber, tomato, carrots, broccoli, softened cream cheese, and some dry ranch dressing mix. In my bowl, I've got my softened cream cheese. I'm going to add in the sour cream and the dry ranch dressing mix. Stir that until it's combined really well and then set that to the side. And a quick note here, in each of these recipes, I'm using plain cream cheese because we're adding seasoning to them, but really you could use a uh, flavored cream cheese from the grocery store. That would be fine as well. So again, I would prefer a burrito sized tortilla, but I'm using what I've got on hand. I'm gonna add some of the flavored cream cheese, spread that out. Now on this plate, I have my vegetables. I just chopped them. I seeded both the cucumber and the tomato and then just chopped all the veggies. I'm going to sprinkle them out all over the tortilla. Next, I'm going to add some shredded cheese. And then with the other pinwheels, we're just gonna roll these up pretty tightly, wrap them in plastic wrap, and then these are going to go into the refrigerator and chill for about 30 minutes. I remove them from the refrigerator, remove the plastic wrap, slice them into pinwheels, and place them onto a serving plate. And like I said, these were so, so good. If you like that veggie crescent roll pizza, I highly recommend that you give these a try. Finally, we gotta have something sweet. Now, I'm almost embarrassed to share these with you because it's so ridiculously easy. It's not really a recipe, more of an idea. I had these years and years ago. I can't remember. It was like at a book club or a church get together or something, but somebody brought these uh, as a snack to share. And at first we were all kind of like, what are these? You know, these are yummy. And then when whoever made them or brought them rather told us what they were, we couldn't believe it. So really all you need are Little Debbie Swiss cake rolls and or the strawberry shortcake rolls. That's it. All you're gonna do is remove them uh, from the plastic and then take a knife and slice them into pinwheels, place them onto your serving platter, that's it. Like I said, it's so ridiculously easy, but they're yummy, they're bite-sized, they're you know crowd friendly who doesn't love a little debbie cake <laughs> but anyway that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope that you like this video i hope it gave you some inspiration some new things to try like except for your next get together or party or just family game night quick lunch dinner whatever it may be again thank you for watching please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already i hope you have a great rest of the day thanks so much Bye bye